Welcome back to another episode of the Corporate Cowboys podcast. I'm your host, Alex, forever your intern at Incorporating Associates. Today is Saturday, April 3rd, 2021. Today, I want to talk about, uh, real quick, I'm not going to talk about the holiday. You already know, um, you all should already know how important the holiday is, whether or not you are observant of it. You should understand, I mean, you should understand what the value of integrity is. Ultimately, integrity can get you pinned to a fucking cross. <clears throat> this one is about um really just just keeping appearances keeping appearances maintaining maintaining appearances and it comes down to the theme of uh integrity having that integrity when i was younger uh integrity was defined to me as doing the right thing even when no one is looking even when no one is looking if you want to elaborate on that, it's just doing the right thing, which sounds like a simplification, but it's hard for a lot of motherfuckers. It's hard. Why? Because in today's day and age, right and wrong have become so relative, so subjective. Even your wrong might be right in the context of another person's wrong <laughs> as if as if your wrong was any less wrong just wrong man suppose uh two rights hold on suppose two wrongs do not make a right right and if you do commit a wrong and um and you prevail i mean you still have to live with it the rest of your life, the rest of your forsaken life, that's uh, if you could stomach it. Some folks having left witnesses, I mean, if, if having left witnesses, it's, it's hard. It's hard to live with it. Why? Because the past trails behind you. The past trails behind you. So if you don't do right, even when nobody is looking, you will still leave a trail. It's going to reflect in the way you move, in the way you walk, the way you act, in your character, in your demeanor. And yeah, a lot of that does come from the uh, interaction between nature and nurture. So how you were brought up and um, where you were brought up, how... Uh, when even it's just it's all contextual it's contextualized as a corporate cowboy you have to be aware of of context and what it implicates <laughs> i see that meme of uh who was it the the lady or uh, or the dude from that one movie at the casino where they had a, a hangover right the hangover movie when they're at the casino or that other meme with the lady and like they have mathematical equations and and formulas sliding through their vision and their brain that's honestly what it means to work work with integrity to work at being integral integrous <clears throat> i wonder if there's a um there's an adjective in an adverb for that. I don't know. Really just being honest. But it is difficult being... Uh, it's hard to be straightforward with folks. And no, I'm not saying you should lie. Lie can get you places. A lie can get you into places. It could also quickly turn places into hard spots liable to fuck up and end up between a rock and a hard spot 
so yeah, ultimately be yourself. And um, folks who set traps are already not working with integrity. And that's hard, man. It's, it's hard to walk into a trap and to get ganked just because you were the one working with integrity. That's uh, it's difficult. You want to have some reserve force, some team that might uh, come after you, that might double down, might uh, work to confront that. Integrity necessarily means confronting the temptation to be disingenuous. It's addressing the temptation to lie, addressing the temptation to to do wrong, to do evil, to do evil works. It's difficult. It really is. I mean, <clears throat> it's inconceivable for someone who's never put in work, who's never done dirt, got their hands dirty. It's it's fucking hard. It is fucking hard. It's like the first time somebody offers you to do, I don't know, hard drugs or someone... Uh, hands you a a pistol just surprisingly and says I need you to do something it's difficult you can't conceive of yourself doing it in the moment and so integrity to you then means not doing it because you've just never conceived of it there is no right way Yo, this is going to be a confusing ass episode if you can't read between the lines. If you cannot read between the lines, it will confuse you. But hey, fuck it. I'm putting it out there in uh in digital hyperspace seeing what AI will kick back. Um <laughs> When I was living in the Bay Area, this is when I was living on uh, in California, West Coast. When I was living in the Bay Area, circa 2010s, yeah, circa 2010s, I met a guy who, um, he was a career criminal, uh, came up in the streets, pretty much, <clears throat> and his, his crime of choice, <laughs> funny like a drug of choice you know his crime of choice was robbery specifically uh, home invasions now when you think about home invasions that shit's fucking scary it's scary to somebody who can't conceive a bit who can't conceive of having your door kicked in Getting laid down, tied up even, with your family, wife, kids, if you have them. You can't, you can't conceive of it. I know some folks go through the motions, you know, um, get their mouth watering, thinking about what they would do if somebody came in, you know, I don't know broke in through their window, dive, dived in through their window to, to harass them, to assault them. Just how, how they would go about killing somebody in that situation. But you can't conceive of it. Putting yourself in that home invader's shoes, what they have to talk themselves into doing, how they have to rationalize it. Now, yeah, at this point, I haven't told you whether or not the guy was uh, was righteous in doing it or if his supposed victims were innocent, right? It's just, it's difficult. 
to put yourself in that spot, in that situation. Here's where it gets funny. Is that this guy, in speaking with him, this is very calm, very relaxed, very um, very nonchalant, almost, almost lulling in the way he spoke. Sleepy, almost. <laughs> he might have been, he might have been Latino. And uh, you probably might have called him sleepy. But very nonchalant, very cool. And um, and he he told me, and, and in talking to me, and, and I guess regaling me with some stories, he had told me that he stopped. And I found that odd. I, I don't even know if he had, a, if he was actively working a job, if he was actively employed, gainfully employed. I'm not aware. I was not aware of that at the time. I mean, I was going through my own thing and just talking to him, uh, I asked him why, why he stopped because it's obvious he knew what he was doing. He knew why he did it. And, um, I mean, he hadn't been, he was lucky that not get popped right by some, um, by some trigger happy homeowner, but Home invasions entail a whole other scope of uh, due diligence, if you will. So he was probably siding out. Um, what's the term I'm looking for? <clears throat> Is it scoping? Scoping out, uh, staking out his uh, individual victims yeah we'll call them victims i mean why not it adds a little bit more intrigue to the story but i asked him why he stopped and he said that um <laughs> over time with time he had noticed that he was he was becoming more demanding it's as if he was i i would almost qualify it as pleasure he was taking, he was finding pleasure, finding ways to enjoy the home invasion, to enjoy the crime. And I mean, that kind of goes, uh, hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm about to do some, um, some finessing here to tie it into integrity. <laughs> His telling me that he stopped. Because he felt himself becoming more demanding. Told me that he identified at what point the home invasion for profit became something more. And he did not relate to that. That's integrity. That's integrity. That's keeping integrity. Again, it's subjective and relative to what he was experiencing. He was, see, I don't even know how I thought of that example or I thought about this guy, but I mean, such is life, right? But his telling me, um, his telling me this allowed me a view into his mode of integrity his mode of integrity where he necessarily stopped and he stopped making money like i mean he 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 pulled away from making money because he began to become disingenuous about his job right he was doing something more he wasn't he wasn't doing the home invasion right where you want to do the right thing even when nobody is watching. And to him, he has all the motherfuckers laid down on the ground. Eyes to the floor. Nose to the fucking carpet or the tile, right? So he has no fucking witnesses. Nobody is watching. And yet, he feels some sort of... I don't know. You want to call it euphoria? You want to call it pleasure? You want to call it uh, some sort of... 
is it euphoria but some 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 sort of um entitlement yeah there you go some sort of entitlement coming from it he's developing he's He's rooted and and has identified that there's a sense of entitlement he's beginning to play on and derive pleasure from. And he realized that that was that temptation that was fucking with him. He might have, he it might have pushed him to escalate that home invasion into something else. I mean, you want to add on more crimes? Could have become... I don't know, something more depraved, some sort of, some form of torture, rape, murder. And he recognized that. He pulled back. That's integrity, man. That's maintaining. <laughs> God damn, Alex. Anyways, maintaining a sense of integrity, doing the right thing. Even when nobody's watching. And to me, it's just doing the right thing always. You have one job. You have one job. You adhere to it. You stick to it. You don't deviate from it. Obviously, you're you're human. And you're working with humans. Humans in themselves, while predictable, are still capable of irrationality are still capable of being irrational. So, predictable to a degree, and yet still capable of being irrational. And as a corporate cowboy, you gotta walk that thin line. You gotta walk on the razor's edge. Each side pulling you, that's... I suppose gravity, the theory of gravity, pulling you from each side of the razor. And you're just walking the edge. You have to be good at it. Otherwise, it's either failure or overcompensation. Ah, you like that, huh? Overcompensation. You begin skimming off the top. You begin pushing the envelope. You move from a simple home invasion into something completely different and irrational. Something damn near unpredictable. That's dark, man. That's dark. And for some, well, those inhibitions are cut with, I don't know, substances, with um, intoxicants. That's why drug addicts, uh, folks who are really under the grip of a habit or have already came up in a, in a lifestyle like that where... The rule becomes the exception. Where, sorry, the exception becomes the rule. Where the home invasion isn't complete until X, Y, and Z. To them, that is a home invasion. It's just, it's different. And it's all contextual. You just gotta know who you're fucking with. You just gotta know who your associates are. And what you can count on them for. There are some you can count on. To remain and operate with integrity. And there are some you can count on to not. Predictable. Always predictable. And that takes a capable corporate cowboy. That takes a capable individual of doing those calculations in real time. Being able to socialize and communicate their intentions effectively with those same people that they run with. I'm not in touch with the guy anymore. That's a whole different part of my life. I could probably, you know, 
like I know they're out there, right? I just don't speak with them. But they're out there doing their own thing. They're in, in the wind. They're in the wind, so to speak. <laughs> and I know even today to a certain extent, to a certain extent, um, I almost want to say God willing that they haven't fallen on a, on drug dependence, something like Chris or something like Heron, something that would push that envelope and make the irrational seem not just possible, but preferable. They still got the integrity and that integrity can be developed. It could be honed. It could be highlighted. It could be elevated. At that point in my life, I wasn't, I was not in a position to incorporate them as an associate. I mean, that's why it was just a, a passing acquaintance. And I'm comfortable in saying that. I'm comfortable in saying that. The folks I run with today, I'm not going to say a hundred times worse, but just more professional because I'm still walking the razor. I'm still, I'm not associating myself with um, rapists or pedos. I feel like those would be the only two categories I'm, I would eliminate. I might eliminate. Unless they were like an arm's length away from me and I absolutely could not dispose of them. I had no means with which to eliminate them. And if I'm left to incorporate them, if I'm left to incorporate them, they're disposable. Like I said, there are some folks you can indeed trust to operate not in a manner with integrity. You just got to know when to deploy them. <laughs> and they exist, not just at the street level. They exist at the store level, at the regional level, at the corporate level, at the executive level. They're up there. This isn't just one aspect of life I'm talking about. This is every aspect of it. You can follow us on Instagram. That's at incorporating underscore associates dot IA. Is that it? Man, what if I said that wrong? Incorporating. Hold on. Incorporating dot associates. My apologies. Incorporating dot associates underscore IA. I'm going to wish you all a great uh, holiday weekend if you observe and you celebrate and uh, you pay respects out of respect for respect. If you want to shoot a donation our way to keep uh, this mission off the books, to keep this organization off of the books for as long as possible and non-profit, do that. PayPal.me slash corporate cowboys cash app that's dollar sign corporate cowboys and through venmo that's at alex underscore coco you can subscribe to the patreon the patreon is also uh active there are a few tiers there and uh it would just be a monthly charge a monthly uh yeah donation coming our way all of this is going to help with legal fees and expenses. 
Have yourselves a great weekend. I look forward to a phenomenal April. Until next time.